Hey ambitious professionals, it's Linda Rayner of lindarayner.com guiding you to a career and life you'll truly enjoy. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you four key tips on how you can reduce your level of shyness when talking to people, whether it's your boss, your coworkers, or anyone you meet in a professional setting. As a career strategist, I've had the honor of being able to help numerous professionals land their dream job offers. So if this is something that you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I can give you details about that at the end of this video. When I ask corporate professionals what it is that tends to hold them back from getting the jobs that they want or from developing deeper relationships with others at work, I tend to hear, I'm really shy. I don't know how to talk to people well. I get nervous. I just don't know what to say. If this is you, know that this is completely normal. Shyness is a completely natural reaction and you shouldn't beat yourself up because you tend to be shy in front of others. So today I'm gonna help you to understand where I believe your shyness really comes from and my four tips on how you can overcome it. In society, a lot of us tend to think of shy people as people who are gentle, who are sweet, who are nice, kind of fragile, but of course they just don't talk a lot because they're shy. And that may or may not be true. And if you're someone who's shy, you may have those qualities as well. Maybe you were born into a certain culture or society where you were raised to believe that you need to be humble, you need to be conservative, and you can't be too extroverted because that's not a quality that is good to have in that certain culture or society. And as a result of that, you've become this person who is shy. But here's the thing that you really should know. Shyness is something that can be learned and practiced over time. Yes, you may have a tendency to be shy, but that's because you've practiced it all your life. So if you wanna stop being shy, you can. You just simply have to unlearn it from within yourself. And here's another fact that once you realize that this is true for you, if you're someone who's shy, will actually help you to really unlearn and eliminate these shy tendencies. And here it is. The reason why you are shy and why you tend to have trouble connecting with others when you're talking to people is because your current attention isn't on that other person that you're talking to, but instead you're way too focused on yourself. You're saying to yourself, I don't think they like me. I don't know how to talk to them. I'm worried what they think of me right now. I hope I don't say the wrong thing. And with all of these worries and thoughts, you cut yourself off from being able to have a truly meaningful conversation with this other person because you're way too consumed with yourself. And if you were to be honest with yourself, I know that you would agree with me. You are way too lost in your own head with your own thoughts about yourself. So now that you know why or where your shyness comes from, let's talk about how you can help yourself to overcome it. So what's the solution to stop being shy? Tip number one is to adopt a curious mindset. When you're in a situation where you're talking to other people, shift your focus away from yourself from your own fears and nervousness away from you and towards the other person. Shift your focus to the other person. This may sound silly, but a good way to think of it is act as though you're almost a news reporter and you're trying to interview someone and you're trying to get information for a news segment that you're doing. As a news reporter, you adopt a curious mindset because you wanna know more about that other person that you're talking to. So by adopting a curious mindset, you were able to engage with them. You're asking them questions. You're wanting to learn more about them and your full energy is focused on learning about that other person. So when you're at the office and you come across a coworker, just ask them questions like, what are they up to? What are they doing? You know, what are they working on? What are they eating? And you want to ask from a genuine place of curiosity, not from a place of, I'm asking these questions because I want to be accepted. Tip number two is to elaborate on your responses. 
When someone asks you questions, don't just give them one word answers. For example, if they asked you, are you enjoying the work that you're doing? Don't just say yes and leave it at that. Say, yes, I'm enjoying the work that I'm doing because of reason number one and reason number two and maybe even reason number three. And this leads me into tip number three, which is have a story to share. Another way to connect with the other person is instead of just giving them one word answers or just giving them a couple of sentences, have a story to share. Have a story that you can tell them about that relates to the exact topic that the both of you are talking about. As humans, we love to hear stories. And when you're able to share a story that is meaningful to whatever it is that you're talking about with another person, you're able to engage them further. And this is what develops your bond with the other person in a closer way. So the three components to a good story include the situation, setting up the story, telling them what happened in that situation, what was going wrong, what were the issues, how you were feeling, how they were feeling, then move on to telling them about what you did as a result of that situation, what were your action steps, and then finally, what was the end result. And finally, with tip number four, be present and listen intently. Have you ever been in a situation where you are talking to someone, they asked you a question and you're answering their question, but you can tell that they're not even really listening to your answer. They're just waiting for you to finish talking so that they can jump and ask you another question. Don't do that. Don't be waiting for them to finish answering your previous question just to ask them another question because they'll know that you didn't actually listen to what they said. Here's a fact. People usually can tell when you're not listening to them and when you're lost in your own thoughts. As much as you may think that you're good at disguising it, it is quite noticeable for most of us. And here's a quote that I think is very fitting for this topic. And it is a quote by Isaac Newton. And he says, we build too many walls and not enough bridges. So there you have it, my four tips on how you can overcome shyness and start building bridges with other people. Now, if you're someone who's been looking for a new career, who's been searching for a new position, and you haven't been getting much luck with your interviews and with your resume and you realize that you need one-on-one -on -one guidance, then feel free to reach out to me. Head on over to my website, lindarainer.com slash standout get hired, read through the page, fill out the application form. And if my team and I feel that we're a match, then we will reach out to you directly. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next